remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Text messages are going out to U.S. citizens informing them that they have been selected for the draft. Oh, yeah. Don't get scared now. Remember, y'all wanted to fight. Well, here's your chance, Trump supporters. You want to go out and fight for your master. Here's your chance. Okay. Y'all know I'm just kidding. I know y'all heard by now because I know y'all scary. And y'all watch the news very, very intensely. <laughs> oh, okay. Whew. It wasn't real. Yeah, it was fake. The U.S. Army has informed the public that those text messages were indeed fake. The last time the U.S. had a draft was in 1973 during the Vietnam War. Since then... The U.S. military has been a volunteer force. So what did the text say? There were variations of the message. One went like this. Hello, we are contacting you in regards to the United States official army draft. We tried contacting you through your email several times and have had no response. You've been marked eligible and must come to the nearest branch in the New Jersey area for immediate departure to Iran. Please contact us at the following number immediately. <laughs> Another read, United States Official Army Draft. We tried contacting you through mail several times and have had no response. You've been marked eligible and must come to the nearest branch in the Jacksonville, Florida area for immediate departure to Iran. Please contact us at the following number and respond to this message immediately. The reason why everybody is all scared, in case you've been living under a rock, is because tensions have been at an all-time high between the U.S. and Iran since the killing of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. He was killed in an airstrike in Baghdad. Now, this is reportedly from or due to an order by Donald Trump. But we know he didn't do that by himself. We know that he was ordered to give the order. And he's a front man, you know. And he likes being the front man because he likes all of the credit. He likes to get all the credit. He don't care if somebody else is pulling the strings. Just like with what happened out there in Virginia when the white supremacists ran over the lady in the car during the rally. He initially was on some somber stuff saying that, you know, it was sad and, you know, he's trying to take a stance against white supremacy and them Klansmen hit him up and say, say, boy, don't you forget who made you and your daddy. Came right back the next day. Uh, that, that was, that was, Good people on both sides. <laughs> he ain't what you think he is. He ain't as brave as you think he is. Else he wouldn't have dodged the walk. You know what's really baffling to me? You have combat soldiers following the orders of a draft dodger. Where do they do that at? All those other countries? You're going to have to get out there and put your own work in before you get awarded some type of title as Commander-in-Chief. But don't worry, Trumpets. You won't have to go fight. I know some of y'all started text messaging and started kissing your family goodbye and calling the recruiting offices and asking them where you go check in because you're that slow. I know, I know. You don't have to worry about anything. If they were to draft you, they would send you a certified letter. Also, the Army does not decide when there's a draft. Congress makes that decision. So you have nothing to worry about for a while. 
the military considers a draft as a last result. Before that ever happens, first you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna see a lot of bonuses for reenlistment. You're gonna see bonuses for recruiters, you know, for new recruitment. And you're gonna see a whole lot of former military personnel being recalled for active duty. So, I just wanna let you know, calm your nerves a little bit. I know y'all talk tough, and y'all don't mind killing Americans, I got that. You don't mind shooting Americans because you you're protected by that American law. I got you, I got you. But boy, that overseas law, a whole different story. You scared of that. That's why a lot of Americans don't travel. Because they couldn't even function overseas. They couldn't even function in a country where the law is leveled evenly. Couldn't function. I wonder how many of those Trump supporters actually <laughs> text back. <laughs> Again, the real issue is, man, who actually returned those text messages? Who actually contacted recruitment offices and asked, where do I go? For the people who believe they were drafted via text message, <laughs> congratulations. You are on the front line of infantry bait. <laughs> but... I have a confession to make. I have a problem myself because I also received the text. And I received another text from a Nigerian prince who wants to give me $20 million. I'm trying to figure out which one to call first. No more talk. What the talking about?